America's auto workers are back to a strange, sterile new world. Employees at Detroit's Big Three, Ford, General Motors, and Fiat Chrysler, return on Monday to manufacturing plants where the new normal is one part assembly line, one part hospital. There's 97.7 and above. This will turn red, that'll turn red. Incoming workers' temperatures are checked. So you're good to go, sir? They work behind new barriers with new masks, gloves, plastic face shields, and signs about social distancing everywhere, along with walking lanes and reminders to stay six feet apart. Assembly lines are restarting for the first time since March, when the global pandemic shut down Detroit and auto plants across the U.S., except for a handful that made ventilators for the sickest virus patients. We've seen a little bit of softening the last year or so, and we were expected to see it, but we didn't expect to see a literal grind to a halt. So that's exactly what happened, is the industry literally stopped um, operating, and we've never seen anything like that before. One potential worry, a global supply chain that's been slowed by the coronavirus. Mexico is still locked down, but last week the government unveiled a plan that could see some auto parts makers open to supply Detroit. Now that automakers are building again, the question is, in the worst market since the Great Depression, does anyone want to buy the cars they're making? Across the U.S., unsold cars by the thousands sit idle delaying the introduction of new models, and in these belt-tightening times, competing with cheaper used cars. We have to go by decades to find a comparable sales rate. I mean, we've, we've gone through the Great Recession. We've had um, some hip hiccups in terms of, you know, tsunamis and hurricanes taking out the supply factories and, and consumer demand, but nothing quite like this. Dealers are offering once-in-a-lifetime incentives, like seven years of no-interest loans with little progress so far. Whether you were laid off or furloughed or even took a reduction in pay, a car is a very big purchase for a lot of people, sometimes the biggest purchase that they make. So feeling comfortable and safe enough to buy a car, I think may take a while. Until buyers return in force, the production lines will reopen more slowly than they shut down, and new cars will keep aging on American car lots. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.